what's going on? Hey guys. Hey! -o! Hey you guys, it's Darnell Bradley. This is for real. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Darnell Bradley back at y'all another video and today we got Uchiha Itachi song, My Way, Eddie Wrath. Now y'all already know I'll be here for Eddie. <laughs> one like Eddie, he can spit, and he be the, like, and then the last one, like, what was it? I don't know, but he was throwing some nice bars out there, but like, I really like Eddie's story rap. I'm gonna reference this again, I've done it in other videos, Daddy Fast Nats posted on Twitter what he likes, like more story or bar heavy when it comes to nerdcore rap. Like I said, I'm a more bar heavy guy, but can't pass up on a good story song though. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because like with the with the story ones uh, versus the bar ones, I think that the story ones are more truer to character in a literal sense. You know what I mean? And when and with the bar ones, it's like just to be it's like yo, we nasty, spit this, spit that. Yeah, it's the character. It's what they do. You doing that? But like with the with the songs, it's more who this character like is not as a character rapping about themselves. You know what I mean? It's different, but. Um, I really, I really do like how Eddie does it. And he's, like I said, I believe he got that imposing ass voice when he says words. It's fucking retarded. It's ridiculous. I love it. Um, so I, I want to get into this, guys. Also, don't forget, I said in my last reaction, I got a Patreon, guys. Link in description. Go do that thing. And that's going to be for all kinds of exclusive content. You guys will get to hear beats before they drop. Um, unreleased YouTube videos. You guys will get the, well, not YouTube videos. Unreleased videos on YouTube that I'll put on Patreon. Or something like that, or it may hit may hit my Patreon first and then go to YouTube. Something like that. I don't know. But you guys will have exclusive shit. Alright, I'm still setting it up. Have faith in me. So be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all their social media, and we're gonna hop into this without any further ado. In three, two, one, click. Nanny, the final form of the chat. That nigga said nanny. <laughs> Nanny. The final form of the child of prophecy when he's unrestrained. He needs you now more than ever because bronze always needs some brains. Yeah. Water can re Prophecy, so we're talking about Sasuke. Two Itachi. Okay. He needs you now more than ever because bronze always needs some brains. Yeah. Water can remove the mud, but you cannot clean your name. Hey. You might drown if you're paddling too far in the ocean of shame. To the point that you got no choice but to start surfing the waves of pain. Hey. It's better you buy your soul in exchange for the crap you gained. A true friend will lay down on your fires and not complain. But your feet so small you cannot follow my footsteps in the shoes of blame. Hey. So I, I like this. So we got Itachi talking to Sasuke. This is cool because we, you know, we just had Iroh talking to Zuko from Divides. Now we, we got Itachi talking to Sasuke. I, I like I like that. I like that. I like that we got, you know, this, this, this. Even though Itachi wasn't like really like in a low key way, Itachi was Sasuke's mentor. He taught him a lot about pain. I guess, but <laughs> like, you know, all right, let's go. Shame to the point that you got no choice but to start surfing the waves of pain. Hey. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let's get into some of this. Hold on. Can remove the mud, but you cannot. All right, hold up. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Nanny. The final form of the child of prophecy when he's unrestrained. He needs you now more than ever because bronze always needs some brains. Yeah. Child of Prophecy to my Sasuke, bronze needs brains, Itachi is the brain. Okay, got you. Water can remove the mud, but you cannot clean your name. Hey, you might drown if you're paddling too far in the ocean of shame. To the point... You're talking about you might die if you paddle too far in the ocean of shame. Uh, Uchiha's, they, like, what was it, what was it described? I think uh, the second Hokage said it. They love hard, so when something happens to them, like they, like a family dies or a friend dies, whatever, whatever their their pain or their hatred is far greater than normal and that's what causes what was like some chemical imbalance or some shit in the brain that produces that kind of chakra to their eyes but that's how like you know that's why uchiha be doing fucked up shit sometimes you know what i'm saying because they you get somebody who's mentally emotionally unstable and you give them a shit ton of power it's kind of how that happens so he's like when you uh wait what is he being your name hey, you might drown yeah paddling too far in the oceans of shame that's what he's talking about like with shame and Shit like that, how it can get like the Uchiha, like they dive too far into that side of things. I mean, if you're paddling too far in the ocean of shame, to the point that you got no choice but to start surfing the waves of pain. Hey. Waves of pain, like all, and it showed all the painful things, like it showed Shisui dying. Now it's got Uchiha, I believe, here lying everywhere, like the pain, you know what I'm saying? Better you buy your soul in exchange for the crap you gained. A true friend. 
Yes, that that was a fight that Itachi was in. All right, never mind. Who laid down on your fires and I complain? But your feet so small, you cannot follow my footsteps in the shoes of blame. Feet so small, you cannot follow my footsteps in the shoes of blame. Talking about like all the shit that Itachi did, whatever, whatever, and, and, and things like that. Letting Sasuke know you're not, you're, you're good. Like it's, it's not, nothing you've done is like you're, you're good. <laughs> like, hey, warn your daughter to beware the door to the club of vengeance. Ooh, warn your daughter to beware of the doors to the club of vengeance. Mmm. So now we got Itachi telling Sasuke, yo, be aware of your daughter because, like, the Uchiha have this condition. <laughs> so let her know. I like it. Gents, how come you can die two times but only pay once at the entrance? Uh. Caskets full of shinobi who never had a chance for repentance. If Mother Nature and Father Time had a child that would bear no resemblance. Uh. Like that. Like the symbolism in the words, like the rapping of Mother Nature and Father Time had a... Son, there would be no resist. Like, I like that. Let's go. See the child of prophecy. Even though you die, it's okay. On the ground of life, you bleed. But I know you fly in my way. But I know you fly in my way. But I know you fly in my way. And my shining gun will bleed. And we blow in fire all day. And the truth is what you see. But I know you fly in my way. Oh! Okay, no, 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 no. I messed something up. I think I said Sasuke was the child of prophecy, but no, they were they were calling Itachi that shit, weren't they? Yes, 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 yes. All right, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Let's go. And we blow in fire all day, and the truth is what you see, but I know you. I, I got that when he said, um, the child of prophecy, the child of prophecy, even though you die, it's okay. That's Itachi, so thanks, Eddie. Way, but I know you fly in my way, but I know you fly in my way, and my shining gun will bleed, and we blow in fire all day, and the truth is what you see, but I know you fly in my way, but I know you fly in my way, but I know you fly in my way. When there's nothing you can say or do for the world to forgive your blunder, hey. shocking how you grew from the Chidori to the God of Thunder. Hey. Yeah, I like that. Oh. I think about the civilians in villages living in hunger. Hey. Some of them hopeless on the verge of suicide, but it's no wonder. Hey. If I'm the one, then you're two, and the unpo agents trying to chase us. Hey. And if I ever got touched by a shuriken, there was a glitch in the matrix. Ah! Yo, I like that. That was just sauce. That was just sauce. <laughs> if I ever got touched by a shuriken, there was a glitch in the matrix. Ah, I like it. I like it. All right, that was just a sauce move. That was just a sauce move. Agents trying to chase us hey. And if I ever got touched by a shooty Ken, there was a glitch in the matrix uh. There are some battles when you realize that you're not gonna make it yeah. When the enemy's so strong that he metaphorically strips you naked uh. Your Hokage would hype and gas you although it's costly yeah. But back in the day, see my Hokage watch me like a Nazi hey. Maybe cause I knew sick techniques Kakashi couldn't copy mm. You got sauce lines Got sauce lines. I like them. Nazi. Hey. Maybe because I knew sick techniques Kakashi sick couldn't copy. copy. Uh. Nani. <laughs> Nana. Grammar. I didn't get that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? Why was that a thing? It was dope. It was dope. I just don't know where it came from. Maybe because I knew sick techniques Kakashi couldn't copy. Nani. He's like. <laughs> Nana. Yo, Eddie, um, this was dope. It was fun. I, I like, like, this is, this is a cool little snip. I, I don't understand where it came from. Like, this is so random. But all right, let's go. Kurama. Yeah, I get that. It's Naruto Kurama out there, but like, as in how it works with the song. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> The child of prophecy, even though you die, it's okay. On the ground of life, you bleed. But I know you fly in my way. But I know you fly in my way. But I know you fly in my way. And my shining gun will bleed. And we blow in fire all day. And the truth is what you see. But I know you fly in my way. But I know you fly in my way. But I know you fly in my way. I was fit.
feeling it. I was feeling it. Whatever. We'll pause on me out. Yo. That was dope. Listen to dope shit here. I like that he was throwing out them sauce lines every now and again. That was, that was clean. That was clean. But as far as like Itachi, Sasuke, and Itachi like talking about like some of his own shit, some of Sasuke shit, and even referring to Serata, like I thought that was really cool. I really like how Eddie put this one together. Like I said, he can tell it. He can spit it real dope and like... Like, this was also a lot of, like, symbolic speaking and things like that. Like, but also there were some literal things, like you said, like Ushiha and shit like that. But this, this was a very good one done. I like the beat, and I like how Eddie can ride those nice, like, smooth-ass beats like that. The beat had that real Naruto vibe, you know, little strings and shit, man. We was feeling that. That was a good one. That was a good one. That's my take on it, guys. So be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all their social media. We gonna not hop into this because we just listened to it. But I'll catch y'all next one, fam. Peace!